Hello and welcome, my Aries friends, to your Cardinal Quality Sign reading for June 2016, The Love Seems Forecast. And for the Cardinal Signs, I just dropped Cancer in case some of you, you know, your Sun sign or your Moon sign or your Rising Ascendant is and whatever other sign it is. Um, and it did come out really nice for them with the Wheel of Fortune came through. So I thought that was a lot of fun. But I, I do want to open up and, and that they're ruled by uh, Luna, the moon Cancer is. So I just want to focus again on how important these vibrations are, these lunar vibrations right now. We are literally going through this uh, full moon in Sagittarius now. It was last night, but we can still work with it this weekend here through Monday, Tuesday. And knowing that a full moon in June 20th, the eve of the summer solstice, is also um, in the sign of Sagittarius. So we definitely want to work with our you know, higher psychic selves, working with the divine flow, you know, letting go of the ego, and, and really trying and willingly trusting in your intuition, okay, trusting in your intuition. So, but I did want to open up with the three qualities right here uh, for the cardinal signs, and, you know, whether it's your sun, your rising, or your moon, but the uh, and why we try to do this, we there's human attributes which follow the natural laws and rhythms of nature, okay? And so these work with the four elements earth, air, fire, water, and the four seasons. And the cardinal signs if you are a cardinal sign, your job is to initiate the season, you are the leader which brings forth that season. And cardinal signs are pioneering and enterprising. So I opened up with the cardinal signs with cancer because they open up summer. They're the leader of summer. And June 2016 is all about going into the summer. So um, I enjoyed their reading very much. But now I'm working with you, Aries, my fire signs. And your season is spring. So recognize that. Um, you know, in some of us, in the, if you're in the southern hemisphere, watch, you know, Pay attention to springtime, okay? And then for our Libra air signs, your season is autumn. And for our Capricorn earth signs, your season is winter, okay? And I do want to say that for the month of June 2016, even though we're exiting, we're in it right now. We're in this this uh, May, May, June uh, moon, which is known as the moon of radiance right now, this uh, moon in Sagittarius, uh, and the tarot card was the lovers. So I thought it was so beautiful to have this energies with us. And now we're doing the love scenes forecast for June 2016, okay? And Aphrodite and Venus were part of that, uh, the goddess's power, and Artemis as well, and, and the Egyptian boss. So it's all about the creation, love, intuition, work with your intuition, trust your intuition, my dears. Connection with the divine, that came out huge for the cancer friends just five minutes ago. Connection with nature, go outside, get outdoors. If you can be barefoot for a while, you know, if you live by the beach, walk barefoot. And then about sexuality and sensuality and the creative power is to empower yourselves and the action to command. But this moon in June now, June, July, and with cancer being part of that, um, they end and go into the July. The tarot is the moon. Again, the trump card is the moon. So I'm just, you know, really trying to encourage all of us to embrace this moon power. And June, we're in this blue moon in Sagittarius right now. And then in June 20th, another moon in Sagittarius, full moon in Sagittarius. With the, right there the next day, summer solstice. So it's like powerful stuff all about the lovers and the moon okay and i'll do this um next week i'll do a reading just for the monthly and i'll highlight all of this but this is a um, moon of equality and um it's about creative power to organize and the action to balance okay and it is the sea mother's moon so if you could get by a, a sea body of water the sea the ocean even a river it'll behoove us all okay so I just wanted to encourage us again, really look up, look up to the sun, look up to the Luna, and get outdoors as much as you can, because this June 2016 is 
is going to be all about the energies right off, you know, on top of us from the sky, okay? And it's wonderful. And if you can get by a body of water, um, that would behoove us, behoove you as well, all right? And if not, if you're one, you know, you live in the city or mountain area, no, no bodies of water, you can always, you know, take those baths and just meditate and we're really really trying to tap our intuition and working with that divine flow that's pretty much what i've been feeling and i think it's coming out for many other readings as well okay all right well i'm going to pick three cards of the true love tarot and then we'll finish with one bonus from the romance angels okay so let's just see what we have for our aries friends and aries you know you're the trump card is the emperor and we had the emperor come out in one reading already <laughs> i can't recall but it just i think it was yesterday's for the fixed signs but we love when the emperor comes out and you want to think like your emperor and then ruled by mars so it's all male active going on whether you're female or not you know you you make those decisions okay and we got mars you know the god of war we can say but he just he knows how to take care of himself is what we're trying to say. Okay. So just, just think that whatever comes your way, you can deal with it. Okay. Even if you have to fight it, you can deal with it. But mainly, you just want to stand your ground for whatever comes through in the month of June. Okay. Because we want to think like an emperor. All right. Okay. So we have some cards here. I've got all my... My beautiful gardenias growing, so I figured I'd just clump them all out today. <laughs> Where's more? I've got a couple in my hair right now just because they don't last too long. That's the only thing. It's not like roses. You know, they keep coming up. They just kind of like poof. You know, I just get them for like four or five weeks. And then some stragglers come in June, you know, just one or two here. But right now it's just blossoming so much, so I'm going to take advantage of that. I must say the scent is gorgeous because, you know, you go and buy sometimes gardenias in a store and they don't even smell. So this is just, its you can tell this bush has been around for a long time. All right, well, let's see what we have to say for the Aries people. Yes, yes, yes. And justice comes through. Major Arcana. I have to share Major Arcanas have come through for every reading with just three cards, okay? I mean, I can do a nine-card spread reading and maybe one or two Major Arcanas come out, but we've had one and two Major Arcanas come through for just a three-card pull. So I find that truly fascinating. I truly do. And here you are, <laughs> Aries. You're the 10th read for the June 2016th, the 10th video. And you get first card out, Major Arcana, justice, okay, with truth. And that's wonderful. So definitely, my dears, you know, speak your mind. But as, as long as it comes from the truth, it'll set you free, okay? We're not going there, you know, anything shady here. And you can see here you are. Here's an angel in, up from the stars sending you her will of beauty and shine and just knowing that you can direct your further self in June 2016 with beautiful divine flow as long as you speak your truths okay speaking your truths is always the win-win you know nothing shady nothing doing anything that can hurt others okay we're not here to harm others we're here to aid them lovingly and if anything, we bring justice to ourselves, okay? Justice to the situations. But here, more flowers on the table. We just had some beautiful flowers being adorned in the other reading for the cardinal reading for water sign cancer, okay? So let's put this here and let's see what else comes through for us. I don't want this to fall. <laughs> Card already fell through and I had to pick it up, so I'm watching how I pick these up now. Another major card, oh, and the Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail. The Ace of Cups again for June 2016. This has to be like the fourth time because the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups came up for the full moon in Sagittarius. 
which which is depicting right now these energies right now and I know for one of these love scenes forecasts it came through as well and look what else came through the karma card Diablo's in the house okay well devil's always in the details but two major arcanas and that's why this is called seduction okay seduction but we're trying to take us into that love scenes forecast where we can partner with that soulmate that integral person in our life that partnership that brings divine flow you know when it's a soulmate and especially a true love twin flame kind of thing if you that's what you're searching for it always comes from the divine okay that's not something you find on match.com <laughs> uh, match.com is diablo <laughs> okay. yeah but yes so really we want to embrace and here we see we have the word love okay love right there love so when we have the um and you know i, I say about the devil diablo he has much wisdom okay we can't deny he's master magician he has very much wisdom so it's not for us not to justify his wisdom we should okay it's called the balance he's never going to go away all right those energies but we can learn from the dark forces all right we can learn what to do and what not to do and we want to be justified with what we do so even though seduction can be a sexy thing okay but if it's your with just somebody you pick up at a bar well you know i just don't feel you're going to be getting that twin flame action is what i'm trying to say and these readings, we're trying to embrace what the universe wants for us. And I say the universe wants us to have love, okay? Love and the Ace of Cups. And so this could be a new love coming through. Or if you're married, new um, emotions rekindling, okay? So don't deny when you put your heart, body, mind, and soul into anything, whether it's a new project that's coming from your heart. For example, if you're a writer or a painter, you know, that literally it exudes from your soul core. If you do it with love, it's a win-win, okay? And know that even anything monetary, even if you're making money, Diablo's always in that, okay? Diablo runs anything corporate. He runs anything about money, okay? That's just how it works. The devil is about industry, okay? Corporate industry, you know, like anything running Facebook, <laughs> okay, YouTube, Diablo's there. <laughs> but we just recognize that, okay? Doesn't mean we have to align with it. Just recognize it, justify what works for you, okay? And, but whatever you work with or you desire from your heart, body, mind, and soul, that's where we want to go. Okay, and look at this love right here. This is this is that transcendence we were saying because it's come out already. You know that that Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail, pretty much signify signifies or signified back in the ancient times when you want to consider, you know, when Christ was sitting at the Last Supper and they coined that the Holy Grail, and that's what you know King Arthur was all about you know, embracing that wisdom and the Templars and all that jazz, if you all want to, if you pay attention to that or you want to look it up, but it's about our soul transcendence, okay? Our soul's transcendence to that higher beauty, that higher love, that higher power, that divine flow, okay? So that's where we want to go, all right? And uh, that's one thing the devil cannot touch, okay? The devil cannot match the power of love, all right? And the power of love is right here. So, my darlings, be justified with what you do. Work it hard because there's there's money here and, and you can make it happen. But don't be seduced by things is what we're trying to say because look what just came through in the three-card pull, okay? And I'm going to pick a romance angel right now is love. So no doubt the angels, the angels right here, okay, from the, from the heavens, 
from the heavens want to see you have that love power, okay? And that's what we're searching for. Because remember, Diablo has always been, no doubt about it. I totally believe he's been here before the light. We talked about that. Even the Egyptians, when they came, you know, with goddess Isis, they were just the first beginning of the hierarchy, the first individuals on this planet, per se. And, you know, set killing his own brother Osiris. The family member is what I say in the Bible with Cain and Abel killed his brother. You know what I'm saying? Diablo runs all of that. No doubt. The hate. The hate. And there's much hate in this world. No doubt about it. But we can justify it. We can, I mean, be have justice against it. Okay? Hate. Hate is out there. But we justify and we bring in the love and we can heal. I totally believe this. We can heal the phantom forces. But we got to do it via love. All right, love. But if you're searching for a partner or you want to improve your partnership, then please remember, and even though I am one to say Diablo has much wisdom, we can learn. But we can learn what not to do, okay? What not to go. And then especially that the ace of grail, you know, Jesus was one to say, Satan, you walk behind me, okay? Satan, you walk behind me right? And we, if you know, you have dark forces around you, we command them. Even if you have demons demanding from you, we command them, okay? All right? Just like Jesus did. We command the devil. We command the dark forces. And if we do it with unconditional love, divine flow, unconditional love, I'm telling you, Things change. It's amazing. But you got to believe. <laughs> it takes a long time to believe that, but it can happen. And here, it just came out in the reading. Okay? But justice is always on your side. The angel of justice is on your side. So, you know, you, there's only two teams, my darlings, now. The dark side and the light side. Nothing else matters. Because we're not talking about you're a Jew and you're a Protestant or your whatever that doesn't even exist. It's about your spiritual awareness, what side you 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 work with. Okay, do you work for the dark side or do you work with Team White Light, Bright Light? That's all that's left. Okay, but uh, but love is the most powerful, powerful source of great spirit, the Creator. That's what they want for us, just unconditional love, and that's what they offer us. Okay, well, I've got a card here right now, so let's see what they have to say, the romance angels. True love. It's just true love has come through. How beautiful. True love. Okay, this is the romance of a lifetime. So my darlings, you see how beautiful Aries, the emperor. And look at that. See the emperor right there with his true love? Okay? Think like an emperor. Think like King Arthur did. He loved his beloved as well, Guinevere. Okay? And, you know, whatever has to be done, you have just justice and the truth. Speak your truths. All right? Speak your truth. And you can see the little cherub, the little cherub here in the true love card. All right? They're always around us. The angels are always with us. So always pay attention. Feel that. You know, feel Go with your intuition. That just came through large for the cardinal cancers, okay? In case you have cancer in your chart or you, you know, you know your children or someone is a cancer and you follow it. But look at this, my darling. Okay? Now, we're not, we're not denying the balance, okay? Devil's always in the details, never going away, okay? The dark will always be there, but to have true love, that can only come with love, okay? That's the only way that works. Not not people trying to marry you for your money and all that. You know, I don't know if you watch some of these shows where, you know, they'll kill you just for your money. It's it's murder on TV. It's, it's every freaking channel almost. So, but again, there's wisdom in Diablo, okay? So learn the wisdom. Just know what you can play with and what you can't because he'll burn you no doubt but i don't want to take away from this 
beautiful reading that true love this is the first true love that came through and it came out for you aries okay and look at the image right there the emperor with his beloved okay so love has come out strong and look at this two major arcanas and this is i'd say the most powerful card in the deck of the romance angels the true love so aries pay attention okay because sometimes emperors psh, can sign up with Diablo from the get out. So please, do not go there, okay? There's no need. We learn from him. We learn, we learn, we understand he's there in the mix. Always will be, always has been, okay? None of that's gonna change. You just got, got to pick which team you're on. White light, bright light, or Diablo's team. But with white light, bright light, we command the dark forces, okay? Blessings to you, Aries. Uh, this I'd have to say this is this was kind of the coolest read yet because it's it's reality. It really is. But true love can come through unconditional love. And when you believe and you work with the divine, they'll send you that that soulmate, that twin flame. That's how that works. Okay. Like I said, you don't find that on Match.com. Okay? No disrespecting Match.com. I'm sure somebody's gonna write to me now. <laughs> God help me. Okay, my darlings. Enjoy your month of June. Get outside. Get grounded on mother. Look up to the sun star. At night, look at the stars in the sky and embrace Luna's energy. It, this is like, and summer solstice. We got it. This June is like on fire. <laughs> Literally fire. Kisses. Ciao.